Hello, this is Krillian. Welcome to episode 49 of my Let's Play Dragon Age 2 is Krillian Hawk, a mage playing on hard difficulty. We are in chapter 3 of the game, which is the final chapter building up to the climax of the game. Uh, we have done some work for the Templars. We have Hawk's estate. We have the thing for justice, Gamlin's treasure, and who needs rescuing? I'm gonna go home first and check them out. We may continue the main storyline, which we completed part of that already, but that's okay. Ah, you've returned. Another message came while you were away. It's on your desk. Okay. Um, the Night Commander Meredith expresses gratitude for services. Please accept this token of our of our appreciation. Thank you for persuading Mill to do the right thing. The boy may not recognize it, but you probably saved his life. I don't know how to repay you, but perhaps this coin is a good start. Champion Hawk. It took great courage today for you to speak openly against our Knight Commander. You have my support in any action you take. I hope I have yours as well. For there is a situation in the cycle or a circle I was hoping you could assist me with. Please meet me at the gallows. Meredith has confined my mages to their cells and forbade me to travel within the courtyard. I appreciate your service and discretion. We're gonna come here and throw my my family shield in. And we got ten gold. Um Yeah, we don't have I can it. make it for you. Can you actually craft them for me? The old lady is scary. There is no old lady, Sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, uh, my boy sees things sometimes. Says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Yes, well. There you go. Huh. That big tower in the lake is scary. He means the gallows. Quite agree. Okay. So maybe there's a lady. Maybe not. I don't know. Um. Sure, I actually tried to talk to you like before and you didn't talk to me, but we'll go see Orsino now. Okay, Mero wants to Do talk to you. Do you still support the Knight Commander? I don't care a fig for her, but she's the only one holding back the madness in this city. Holding back? She's howling at the bloody moon. Even her own people think she's lost it. What will it take for you to see that she's crazy? Mages in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs. <laughs> I agree. Fenris is a little bit. I understand. The mentor was terrible to him. But he's unrealistic or unreasonable at times in this, to say the least. Not up this way. This is the home of Kirkwall's Circle of Magi. Okay. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire, which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. Inform the criers. A miracle has occurred. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her, but I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What dangerous means? What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. What can I do? You need some assistance against traitors in your ranks. Traitors? Perhaps. Rebels? Certainly. I don't know if they seek Congress with demons or merely a walk in the moonlight. 
All I know is that a meeting is happening tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. Oh, do it quietly. I'll see what they're up to. There's no point in involving the Templars. Thank you. Your support has been a lifeline for me. For all of us. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. Okay. Well, we can look into that. I'm going to start by going to Merrill's next because I haven't seen Aveline in a while either. Well, there is justice in the world. Is there? You want to free the mages. Let's say you do, but to get there, you kill a bunch of innocent people. What about them? Don't they then deserve justice? Yes. And then what? Where does it end? It's like a bar brawl. People are continuously pulled into the fray, and nobody remembers why it started. Justice is an idea. It makes sense in a world of ideas, but not in our world. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the conversations are interesting philosophical discussions. Sometimes it's her hitting on the elf. Fenris. You never know. What's up, Meryl? Letheline, I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, it's a shocker. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Illuvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. That sounds like a bad idea. Why? Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. What's wrong with the mirror? What do you mean it doesn't work? Well, look at it. Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. Is there a better way? Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else must know something. The Illuvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. Think about this. You would risk becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? If it brings back this artifact of the Elven, if it gives us even one piece of our history, it's worth any risk. There's no one else I trust. Letheline, please, come with me. I don't want anything bad to happen. Okay. If you're determined to do this, then I'll come with you to make sure nothing goes wrong. Ah, Saranus. You've no idea what a relief that is. The demon is sealed in a cave on Sundermount. The sooner we get this over with, the better. Okay. Well, that takes us back to that cave we could not get to long ago. This is not a rush. What do we have going on at night? Oh, might as well do this. See if we can get jumped by more random evil mages. Uh, mine is slightly better. Okay. Do we get jumped in this archway? Seems like that's a common place to get jumped. And we may have been jumped there already, I don't know. They're meeting at the Chantry?
They're meeting with Templars. Someone's coming! The champion! We know you're spying for Orsino! Run! We'll handle this! Why are you attacking me? Seriously, why would you attack me? Stop horrible obnoxiousness. Seriously, I'm like... I don't get the attack. It seems very silly. Kill her. Okay, let's drop that. Down. What the heck hit me? Anders. Focus on the guy hitting you, Anders. Okay. What the to worry about? Uh, hold the mage. You. Oh, we did that without going down. Anyone going down? We should search them. See if there's any further evidence of their plans. Yeah. Of course. And they have loot, dude. Don't forget the loot. Obviously, this is the Templars who are sympathetic to the Circle Mages. Wanting to help take down her. Well, not tell you again, it's not safe to bring new recruits to our meetings. Meredith has always ever bring anyone who claims to be against her to go to Bali's warehouse at night. We must ensure their loyalty that unless Meredith discover us before we need to confront her. Of course, they hold their meetings in a warehouse by the docks. Doesn't anyone go there just to have sex anymore? Apparently not. The good old days are over. It's very sad they wouldn't talk to me. But, you know, it's a thing. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit. Do we? Do we still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit? Is that really our highest priority right now? Okay. So again, we're going to have Endless Templars and Mages together. I would assume. Go to the save, and we'll go in the warehouse. Well, there goes 
stealthily hiding out. I told you he was after us. No, not him. I can't do this. Two Why not talk to me? Seriously? Get okay, you. Need to die. You go ahead and do that. You drop the bomb. Me. Okay, he's out of it. Oh my goodness, Isabella went down. That is poor. Anders. You heal him. You. This room. Okay. Catch him with that. Anders. And there's a devotion. You need to hold. You got it. Anders is down. That sucks. Down. Oh my goodness, there's another freaking Templar Hunter. Myself. That's a drink that. You gag six, dude. Need a potion. You drink 
drink a potion? You did. Go attack the Templar. I'm gonna heal you. Without the hunter, they should not be able to do One. Holy cow. I told them not to do it. I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping. Not after what I went through. Karen? Didn't I save your life? You did. Believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. Bad I don't like where this is heading. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about. As a hostage. We just got word they took some lad from the Grey Wardens. Where is he? Just tell me where they went. I can't waste any time. They left for the ruins on the Wounded Coast. We have a kind of base there. They, they should have just talked to you. I know you're a reasonable person. You have to see how dangerous Meredith is. Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is this all about her? Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? Who's in charge? Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. Why are you here? I'm gonna go with I agree. I'm not your enemy in this. I think Meredith is a dangerous zealot. Then talk to Thrask. He would welcome your aid. I promise you, Meredith is the only one we're trying to harm. I I'll go back to Masha's. Please, don't tell Meredith about me. It would kill Masha if I got in trouble. 
Yeah, he didn't attack me, which is nice. Okay. Well, we're gonna need to go by my house. Blade of Mercy. Um, cool. Tread lightly around here. You happy now? Uh, I would have been happier if you had not gone down in the first place. It would have made life a lot easier. But, we survived that assault. It was pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. But I am glad we were able to pull it out. Sometimes there's like just tons of waves, and another time it's like two waves and you're done. I didn't put that ring on, I bought. So we'll need to. Well, we got Anders armor. Okay. Dual spoon. I want the Onyx Ring of the Dells, I think. Um, you might as well have that. And I'm going to give you this one. I like the Mattress's Lifestone Kiki. Okay, I think that's everything, and we can turn and head back to my house. Oh, nope, there are more traps. It's done. More experience. It is always good. I really don't want to have to destroy all these duders. They probably should not have opted to attack me like that. Such a slave driver. Yeah, I expected to do all the work. So that we get all the demons. And not explode. And big on I can explode. We'll probably sell our stuff also before we head out to the wounded coast and whatnot. As that would be good. Seeing as how we are battered. What if that dude out from the middle of nowhere has better items? We got our cool staff from the guy on the wounded coast. Maybe he has an even cooler staff. Although, we would need more money. But it's okay, we're actually making money now. We've like doubled our income, or more than doubled, because we spent 10 gold on the potions. Going home for a minute, save some entry kits, and then we'll pick where we want to go. I think. I want to do the bone pit and finish Justice's stuff next. We still need the Drake Stone from the bone pit. 
That's over here. Although this place looks really bad. Why is my mind in tatters? What happened to my mind? Uber, what happened? Huh. Uh, I guess I'll loot all these Fereldins. Maybe another dragon showed up? Seems unlikely. I don't remember this being here. Huh. It's another dragon. Okay. Seems bad. And then... Okay. Now uh, you need a potion off the bat. You. Let's start with that. Drop that. Anders. Drop that. Yes, you are dead. She was not meant to fight dragons. Try caging it? You. the two minutes. I don't think she'll stay standing. So I think I want to leave it for... Drink a potion. Oh, and 
now there's a bazillion little dudes. Like dragon breeding grounds. Okay. Yeah, we're not ready for this. I'll deal with this. I'm not gonna choose to run down. Hopefully, we can just choose not to run down the snow, and we'll come back here better to do this. Because, yeah, not the group apparently for this. And we're not going there. Nope, nope, we're not doing that. We're in, we will hold off on finding out why the mine was massacred. Because apparently it's like a dragon breeding ground. Maybe when I have more of the mantle of the champion. Or if both my group more. Are you ready to go in? Uh, no, that's it. We should do this. I next want time. to look around first. I'm with you. So we'll end here with that horrible dragon death, and we'll be back next time. For now, like and subscribe if you have any questions in the comments below, otherwise I will talk to you later. Adios.